It's not until you see the banks of the Ganges that you appreciate the true glory of Varanasi. On the north side of the river, miles of crumbling temples tumble down to the water. Each day, thousands of people come here to bathe in its sacred waters. But alongside this life and bustle and activity are the ever-burning pyres at the cremation grounds. Over 150 bodies are burnt in Varanasi every day. You can see the smoke coming from the ghats. Sorry, Varanasi is seen as a place of death, and yet it feels so incredibly alive, isn't it? Yes. Actually, all aspects of life are in one frame in Varanasi. Even death is celebrated here. That's such an enlightened way of looking at it. Yeah. And you're so up close to it as well. As in the West, we try and keep as far away from death as possible. So as soon as someone's died, put them in a box, don't look at them, burn them away, burn them, you know. So the very purpose is the liberation from death from the cycle of life and death. Just as I breathe in a lungful of air, I notice that somebody's drying their pants just there. Sort of says everything you need to, really. Lovely array of undercrackers. One of the main attractions here are the bathing ghats. Varanasi is not just for the old and infirm. People are enjoying themselves. Yes. Bathing in the waters here cleanses the soul, whatever your age. The, the religious interaction isn't sort of po-faced, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like a family outing. It's like everyone's yes. laughing and playing and the kids are swimming around and joking. A lot of these are pilgrims who, have, who must have come to the city for once in their lifetime. You know, it's like for the Muslims to go to Mecca. Sure. So the Hindus so, have Varanasi. Yeah, so they have Varanasi. Varanasi. Yeah, so for them, it's once in a lifetime, so they are... And in this heat, you would also enjoy a nice dip. <laughs> and also, this river is sacred, and it can't be made dirty. I'm no scientist, but that's deeply brown, isn't it? It is. It's deeply brown. Yes, yes. Dirty or not, this stretch of the Ganges is of huge spiritual significance to many of India's religions, which means it's also pretty busy. The whole of life is playing here. You know, it's out in the open. It's, uh, it's all in the public domain that you live your life. A standard barber here would give you a standard haircut. See, I'll show you what happens with life and death here. You see, every stage of life, we come to the river. So this is a special ritual that happens. So this young child, she's been brought here, and her hair is being shaved off as an offering. You offer your hair as a way of offering your ego, because that's also your pride. Oh, my hair looks good, I look good. So is this man a holy man? No, he is uh, a barber. And it's to do with giving up your, your ego? Yes. I think I'm overdue a haircut. That's all I'm <laughs> going to say. 